This exhibition presents a multidisciplinary approach to the understanding of textiles from indigenous communities across the archipelago. The exhibition illustrates that the principles behind traditional arts are local, yet universal. Man as Intermediary Textiles act as visual representations of a community's ideal of beauty as well as worldviews and belief system. Born out of a meditative process, the principles of the geometry of weaving illustrate the importance of man as mediator of heaven and earth, the earthly image of a heavenly creator and a being who needs to be clothed accordingly. The warp and weft threads that would create the fabric are representative of heaven and earth. The warp or vertical threads generally stands for the things of heaven, the absolute and transcendent. The weft or horizontal threads represents the things of earth, the worldly and transitory elements. As the weaver interlaces and unites the vertical and horizontal axis, the weaver acts as intermediary and interpreter of the order of nature. The first section on the right features selected textiles donated by Mercedes Zobel that illustrate the universal principles of design found in nature. As they progress from a single circle, the overlapping of two circles to form a vesica Pisces, the overlapping of three to form a triangle, and so on. Also featured are bits of key information on the indigenous people who produced and used these textiles, who they are, what their social structure is like, and where their design inspiration comes from. The circle, the symbol of unity, one. Everything starts with a point. Two points compose a line while multiple points and lines occupy a space. These points and lines form shapes and unfold just like all things in nature. The circle is seen as the expansion of the point and is the first and the simplest geometric figure. In many traditions, the circle represents the heavens. It signifies oneness and unity. This tangkulo is a fine example of the square headcloth worn by Bagobo men. Only the Magani or warrior class are allowed to wear the distinctive Binudbod pattern. These circular patterns converge in the center of a typical tangkulo headcloth where a larger circle called the Bulan Bulan represents the moon. When part of a full tinangkulo ensemble, the Binudbod designs are viewed as a deconstruction of the skin texture of the crocodile a revered powerful creature in Bagobo culture. By clothing himself in the skin of the crocodile, the Magani gains the strength of the crocodile, helping him ward off the evil spirits or buso. The square, symbol of earth and four. The square, like all forms, originates from the circle to occupy a space. It is constructed using the points of four petals arising from four overlapping circles that touch the center of a central circle. The square and fourness are represented prominently in the weaving arts. The woven cloth is based on the square and a square grid. The surface ornamentation in textiles also adheres naturally to the square grid. The four or eight-pointed star Fourfold or eightfold flower are motifs found in many of the textiles. There are two noteworthy positions for a square, the static and the dynamic. The static square stands on one of its sides conveying a sense of stability. The dynamic square stands almost precariously on one of its corners in a gesture of rotation or movement. The seputang on her headscarf of the Akan from Basilan and Zamboanga is interesting for its discontinuous tapestry weaving technique and design integration of a field of dynamic squares on the plane of a static square. The octagon in the eightfold pattern. The fourfold square further develops into an eightfold pattern. When a dynamic square is placed over a static square, an eightfold pattern is created. 
which in Arabic is known as katam. When the points of katam are connected, an eightfold star appears. In a series, these stars compose a beautiful pattern known as the breath of the compassionate. Many beautiful objects and ornaments are created with the eightfold pattern and octagonal shapes. At the end of the hall is an interactive bay where viewers can play with life-size dress-up dolls to better imagine how these ensembles are put together and worn. Visitors can interact with the objects and really come close to examine these fine textiles. As you circle back, the glass bay now on your right features the selected textiles that were analyzed by alumni artists of the Princess School of Traditional Arts in London. The hexagon in the six-fold pattern of creation, six. Constructing the hexagonal form through what has been called the six-fold pattern of creation is a contemplative process. The hexagon is formed by seven overlapping circles of the same radius that gives rise to a central design of six petals. The points of these six petals touch the circumference of the central circle. The hexagon is the basic structure underlying such natural forms as a snowflake, bee's honeycomb, and the lily flower. The sixness of the hexagon has been spoken of as relating to the six periods of creation, revelation common to Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. The progression drawing by Lila Deer of the Princess School of Traditional Arts illustrates the hidden hexagonal pattern in a Subbanan woman's wraparound skirt, the Gampek Pulau. Biomorphic Design Principles The crystalline geometric forms of the circle, triangle, and square are complemented by the soft flowing curves of biomorphic design, popularly known as arabesque, to create the harmony and balance that is characteristic of the traditional arts. These curvilinear designs were worked within geometric forms to create order and balance. Biomorphic design has a particular application in the textile arts of the Philippines. It is known as ukil in Sulu and as okir in Maranao. Ukil designs are applied across various media such as wood carving, brassware, painting, as well as textiles. The embroidery featured on this tausog sash, or kandit, is part of their traditional designs. In the analysis by Amber Kokar, we see how the progression of the design emanates symmetrically from the central motif, the lotus, or luki skayapo, a symbol of divinity, peace, rebirth, and life. It is this collaboration with the Princess School of Traditional Arts that makes this exhibition so special. The analysis of local material against the lens of these universal principles of design reflect the interconnectivity of people across communities and across the Philippines.